Good afternoon. Welcome to Immaculate Conception Church. Today we celebrate Mass for the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And this Mass is celebrated in memory of Reggie Wilman. This is also coins for just social justice weekend. All loose change in the collection will be earmarked for social justice concerns. Our opening hymn is We Come With Joy, number 808. Please stand. <laughs> Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, it is good to be with you here this evening. A very fitting hymn that we had to open up our celebration this evening, as we'll hear within our first reading and within the gospel about the Lord and his mercy feeding his people, uh, first through one of the prophets and then through the mercy of Jesus. And so we ourselves, we recognize that we have this longing, this hungering within our hearts, and God wants to continually satisfy that hungering. At the beginning of this Mass, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the bread come down from heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you lead your people in freedom and salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. A man came from Baal Shalashah, bringing to Elisha, the man of God, twenty barley loaves made from the first fruits and fresh grain in the ear. Elisha said, Give it to the people to eat. But his servant objected. How can I set this before a hundred people? Elisha insisted, give it to the people to eat. For thus says the Lord, they shall eat and there shall be some left over. And when they had eaten, there was some left over, as the Lord had said. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. 
one body, and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all, and through all, and in all. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus went across the Sea of Galilee. A large crowd followed him because they saw the signs he was performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, a theme that we have within that first reading, within the responsorial psalm, and within the gospel, is something I already kind of alluded to at the beginning of Mass, that we all have needs as human beings. We are a composite or a combination of body and soul. And the Lord recognizes that we need to eat to survive. And so we had references there within that Old Testament passage to the prophet who was able to provide for the hundred people with 20 barley loaves, then we flash forward to the gospel where Jesus was able to provide for over 5,000 people with just the five loaves of barley and two fish. And so again, the Lord provides for us in our time of need. Uh, food is something so central for who we are as human persons. Uh, when we have national holidays, we gather together and there's food associated with the different dates. Uh, for our national day of independence, hot dogs and burgers or times to grill with each other. Thanksgiving, there's turkey and potatoes. Uh, Christmas could be a repeat of that. Uh, Easter as well, maybe a Easter ham thrown in the mix. Um, within our popular culture, there's an emphasis on food as well. There's an entire network dedicated to food. 
There's different chefs who have made their appeal across generations. Uh, food is something so central to who we are as human beings. It's something which brings us together. It's something that within uh, the life of the Jewish people and then early Christian communities as well, there were ritualistic gatherings of food uh, sharing as well. Uh, the most significant for the Jewish people, of course, was Passover. And that's the very meal that Jesus shared with his disciples the night before he himself offered the gift of his body and blood, soul, and divinity upon the cross for the sake of our salvation. And so we ourselves gather together in mass, uh, literally. Uh, we are here to receive nourishment from Christ, who is the bread come down from heaven. We are here because we recognize we have this longing within our hearts and souls for that ultimate fulfillment that the world cannot totally provide. There are good things about the world that God has created, and we have the opportunity to journey with one another. But ultimately, our hearts are longing and our hearts are restless, as St. Augustine wrote, until they rest and find their nourishment within the Lord. So this day, we ask for God to fulfill those deepest longings of our hearts and that we ourselves would be generous in reaching out for the poor, as we at IC have been doing for so many years to help SECA, the organization that helps to feed people here within Anoka County, uh, but also whenever you have the opportunity to reach out and support others with those material needs. Jesus himself, he fed and nourished the crowds, and so he, we're not opposed to, to fulfilling those material needs. Uh, but at the same time, Jesus first taught the crowds. And so there is that importance of what it is we learn about our faith that gives us that grace to persevere each and every day. That one day we ourselves would be in that heavenly kingdom, that heavenly banquet, to be there to praise Jesus, who is the source of life forever and ever. Amen. As one family in Christ, one body of believers, let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten, not made, substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one the holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We turn out to God, our Heavenly Father, with all of those needs and longings of our hearts, all of those needs of our lives, with confidence that he will respond in his plan and will. For our pastors, that they may nourish us with sound doctrine, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That famine may become unknown in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That prudent choices may lead to the end of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our Immaculate Conception Church family, that those who hunger for Christ may find him in our community, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For Reggie Willman, for whom this Mass is offered, 
we pray to the Lord. For those who are ill, all those suffering from COVID-19 and their families, all those on our prayer chain and in our books of intentions, may they be touched by the healing power of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died, especially Art Harris, Edward Gable, those who have succumbed to COVID-19, our loved ones, and all who have died as a result of violence. May they rejoice with the Lord in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we lift up all of our prayers to you with gratitude for the nourishment your Son Jesus offers us in his grace and mercy and teaching. Send forth your Holy Spirit to guide us that we ourselves would be generous with our neighbors and our brothers and sisters. Help us this day and help us to continually reach out to support each other as you support us. We make all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept your hands. The prayer is for your sake. For our the Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory, that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity, and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voice as we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Mm -hmm. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew's assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other some sign of peace. Peace to you all. La paz. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and never forget all his benefits.
On Saturday, August 7th, the Saturday after due mass will be at 4 p.m., not 5 p.m., to allow for attendance at the summer jam afterwards. Confessions will begin around 2.30. Current confirmation students have the opportunity to earn service hours by helping during the parish festival. Sign up to volunteer after the weekend masses in the back of the church, or go to our parish website to sign up. Contact Mrs. Naraki if you need more information. Just to follow up on that, so we are just a week and a half away from our largest parish fundraiser and opportunity to come together uh, with our Summer Jam Fun Fest. And so, um, really do encourage you to continue to uh, turn in your raffle tickets as you're able. There's a $10,000 grand prize and a $5,000 second prize. Um, if you prefer to offer more of your time, we are still looking for a lot of volunteers uh, for the different days. And if you volunteer Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you get in free uh, for the day. So that's a, a nice bonus. Sunday is a free event as it is. Um, in addition to that, we've got flyers and posters at the entrances. Uh, we'd ask that you take a couple of those. If you know of a business, that you can post them up. Uh, we'd ask you to do that too, or a restaurant. Uh, and we'd be very appreciative just to get the word out there as we uh, continue to promote and uh, really share the, the good news of our parish and ultimately try to build up the kingdom of God, uh, hopefully in a fun-filled way. So with that, together let us stand and pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, I was told before Mass that uh, Patty Fellner, a uh, friend of the community here, got to know what St. Odio is. It's her birthday tomorrow, so happy early birthday to you, Patty. Hope you enjoy uh, the festivities tomorrow. And uh, certainly come back in a week and a half for our summer jam. We can celebrate you there, too. Um, and just uh, to leave something with everyone so you don't feel that I singled just one of our friends out this evening. I have a joke to share with everyone. So 
you can hang on to this one or you can let it go. But um, what do you call a group of raspberries with guitars? A jam session. There you go. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks to God.